Hello, my name is Ulrich Julius. I'm working at the University Hospital Carl Gustav Carus at the Technische Universität Dresden, Germany. I had submitted a paper with the title Lipoprotein Aphoresis in the Management of Severe Hypercholesterolemia and of Elevation of Lipoprotein small a, Current Perspectives and Patient Selection. I have founded the Lipoprotein Aphoresis Center at our clinic in 1990. At that time we started with two patients. Nowadays we treat more than 100 patients. We are using six different Lipoprotein Aphoresis methods, which I am going to describe in my article. Moreover, I will also tell about the selection of the patients and the usual care for these high-risk patients. The aim of the lipoprotein aphoresis methods is to eliminate atherogenic LDL and lipoprotein small a particles. The first step of several methods is to separate plasma either by centrifugation or by filtration. The first possibility to eliminate the atherogenous lipoproteins would be to add a huge amount of heparin and to decrease the pH. Here you get a precipitation of these lipoproteins and of fibrinogen. This is the so-called HELP system. Another possibility is to use a second filter where you can separate the lipoproteins. We have two methods, the lipid filtration and the Monet system. The third possibility is would be to use antibodies against lipoproteins. There are antibodies against apolipoprotein B or, on the other hand, against apolipoprotein small a. The two whole blood methods we use are the DALI system, which is performed with a negatively charged surface made of polyacrylate coated polyacrylamide beads or we have also the dextrain sulfate surface the so-called liposorber D. In conclusion it can be said that lipoprotein aphoresis represents a very beneficial tool in high-risk patients who developed atherosclerotic disease in spite of being treated with lipid-modifying drugs. Though it has to be recognized that lipoprotein aphoresis is rather expensive and also laborious. In the future, there will be a competition between lipoprotein aphoresis and PCSK9 inhibitors and maybe the new antisense oligonucleotide against apolipoprotein small a will also be applied in these patients with high lipoprotein small a concentrations. Thank you very much for your attention.